Have you ever wondered how living things that look so different can be related? Like the manatee here is related to the elephant and even the hyrax. Oh, he's going down, come on. Also, what makes something living in the first place? Well, to answer this, Haley is on expedition and up to her waist in living and non-living things. Is this living or non-living? I think it's living. Is this living? So, what really makes something living? Well, First of all, all living things are made of at least one cell. Right, check out the bacteria that's living in my intestines. They're only one cell, but they're alive. Now, we call them unicellular organisms because they can perform all of life's functions, even though they're only one cell. It may not be able to do this, but it can do this. Cool, right? And humans are multicellular organisms. That means that we have trillions of cells in our bodies that are all working together to do all sorts of things, like uh, absorbing food and using energy so that we can run around and go exploring. Speaking of exploring, should we get back to it? Yeah. 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 All right, let's go. have cells too, but you said that humans absorb food and use energy to run around. These plants don't seem to be doing any of that. Well, all living things use resources to obtain the energy to do what they do. So they may not be running around the swamp with us, but they're still changing and growing. Hey, take a look at these two guys. This tree is huge. This is a bald cypress tree. It could be over 1,000 years old. Let's compare it to something else that's been around for a really long time. How about uh, Jeremy pick up that rock there? What do you think about that, living or non-living? Non-living. It doesn't look like it grows or changes much. Yeah, it's non-living. And something non-living like a rock is gonna stay pretty much the same for thousands and thousands of years unless it gets changed by weathering from wind or rain. But this bald cypress here is still growing and developing all the time. Both humans and other organisms move through different phases of life. Bald cypress trees start off as tiny seedlings. But they turn into huge trees. To sum up what we learned today, is this living? Living. Our explorers decided to sing a little song. How do I know I'm alive? What am I made of? Do I grow? Can I make more of me? How do I know I'm alive? Well, there you
there you have it. Living things may look different and perform life's functions in a variety of ways, but we're all joined by the characteristics shared by all living things. So, wherever you are, never stop exploring your world. Why don't you do some exploring on your own? Get outside and make a list of things that you see. Then group your list into categories. What are the characteristics of each category? Can you explain to your friends how you classified each living thing? <laughs>